Uh, Curtis, what are you doing behind the rock? Quick, tell me what the next piece of the armor of God is. I need more protection. You're right, Curtis. You need the whole armor of God for the spiritual battle. Let's see what the Bible says the next piece of the armor is. In Ephesians 6.14, it says, put on the breastplate of righteousness. Oh yeah, breastplates protect all your organs like your heart. Yep, and the breastplate of righteousness reminds us that we need righteous hearts. When I say heart, I mean the part of you that thinks, feels, and makes choices. When you have a good or bad attitude, that comes from your heart too. I think I've heard the word righteous before. People say God is righteous, but I don't really know what that means. Righteousness is always doing the right thing and having the right attitude in everything you think, say, and do. I think I've got it. You put on the breastplate of righteousness by doing what's right? Not exactly. You can say or do right things and still have a wrong attitude about it. You will still sin by choosing to do things your way instead of God's way. By itself, your heart is sinful and makes it impossible for you to be righteous. Romans 3.10 says, None is righteous, no, not one. No one except for Jesus. He's the Son of God, so He's perfect. Exactly. Jesus is the only person who always says, thinks, and does what is right with the right attitude. But He took the punishment for all our sins so He could give us His righteousness. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says God made Jesus to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. When you trust in Jesus as the only one who can save you from your sin, God forgives you for all your sins, past, present, and future. Now, when God looks at you, he sees Jesus' righteousness instead of your sin. So I have Jesus' righteousness because of what he did for me. And what do I need the breastplate of righteousness for? You need the breastplate of righteousness to remind you that the righteousness of Jesus is enough to live God's way. You will still sin sometimes, but Jesus is changing you to be more like him, and he is always with you to help you do what's right. If you have trusted in Jesus as your savior, you can say this to yourself. Jesus accepts me as righteous because of his righteousness. The enemy, Satan, may try to make you wonder if God has really forgiven you. Maybe you sinned by being angry with your parents when they told you to do your chores, and now you're afraid that you don't really have Jesus' righteousness. When a thought like that comes into your head, stop what you're doing. Say out loud, Jesus accepts me as righteous because of his righteousness. Then, thank God for forgiving you. God has promised you that because you believe in Jesus as your savior, you are forgiven. And God never breaks his promises. After you thank God, ask him to help you live the way he wants you to live. He can help you do what's right and have the right attitude about it. Hey, the belt of truth helped you put on the breastplate of righteousness because you believed what is true. Jesus accepts you as righteous because of his righteousness. Yeah, the breastplate of righteousness definitely gives better protection than that rock.